Eyes and Blue Lock have always had a significant role and special meaning throughout the whole series, so it brings up the question, what do those eyes mean? They're not just there to look cool, but actually have a meaning behind them as there's a lot of different eyes that show up at a lot of different times. Aura eyes, swirly eyes, and blacked out eyes are some of the eyes we've seen so far in the Blue Lock anime and manga, but we've yet to have a proper explanation on what each of them means. So I thought I'd make a theory on what I think every eye means. I think it's super important to know what each of these eyes mean as they explain a lot and also foreshadow potential plot or character development that'll happen later on in the story. Real quick though, there will be manga spoilers for this video, especially with the last eye we see. So if you're an anime only, I suggest watching up until that point. And lastly, thank you guys so much for the recent support on the videos. This progress has actually been way too fast for me, but I'd love to keep that momentum going. So if you guys would hit that subscribe and like button, I'd appreciate it. With that being said though, let's get straight into the meaning behind every eye in blue lock there's pretty much four main eyes we see in blue lock with some minor eyes that are either character specific or don't play too big of a role i want to first start off with the aura eyes as they're the most common ones in the show and in my opinion one of the best looking ones we've seen it since literally chapter one and it's kind of synonymous to blue lock you see these auras going around these characters eyes and then they do something super cool I'd like to also say before getting into my explanation, and this applies to all the eyes, that these are the conditions I see the eyes apply in. I know that there are some exceptions to this, and I'll explain that later on. Design-wise, there's usually this flame or smokish look slash aura coming from their eyes, and I think this indicates an awakening. Soggy running after Ego's speech, Chigiri breaking his chains, Batra going in solo against Team B, they all have one thing in common, and that's them going through an awakening, and all of them have smoky eyes throughout it. The color is also dependent on players' auras, hence why I call it the aura eyes, with the exception being the first awakening. When we first start to see a character go through their awakening, they seem to have a blue aura at first, then their primary color. Like Kasagi having a blue aura over a green one, or Chigiri having a blue one over a pink one. There's another exception to this on top of that, with Nagi having a black aura as his first, but we won't go into the minor details. The aura pretty much depicts an awakening, whether it be a mental awakening or a weapon awakening. So the aura eyes pretty much show a character's awakening and is synonymous to their aura color. Next eye is the blacked out eyes, but if I had to give it a name, I'd probably call it the instinct eyes. Now this is where we get into the manga territory, so again, just another disclaimer. I believe the first time we see the blacked out eyes is when Nagi does the two-shot fake volley against Rin in the 4v4. The design blacks out the eye and turns the pupil at iris yellow, while having a yellow line that pretty much traces where their pupil was. I believe that the this eye stands for a short-term flow state, as there is another eye that stands for the long-term flow state. A good example of how it occurs would be the first time we actually saw it, when Nagi felt a challenge from the top three in Batra and wanting to crush them. This sparks Nagi to move on his own to challenge them and himself, which leads to a perfect situation where he can both use his willpower and abilities to score that insane goal. In that specific moment, Nagi unlocked the blacked out eyes, which is why I call it the instinct eyes since it's a play by instinct. Some other moments we actually see this happen is when Rin is literally playing by instinct and Isagi's luck goal in the U20 where he moves by reflex or instinct and hits the game winning goal. It's also important to note that Isagi didn't enter the flow until that moment in the game, so that's why I refer to it as the short term flow state compared to the other longer term flow states, which brings us right into the next eye, the flow state eyes. Even though the instinct eyes are technically a flow state eyes, I'm gonna refer to this one as a flow state eyes since it isn't just a one-off thing. The eyes are denoted by the iris becoming an uneven pattern as seen with IQ entering the flow in the U20 match and Isagi entering the flow against Kaiser in the Neo Egoist League. The eyes usually appear when a character is stated to be in the flow state or is reacting to a challenge where they need to be in the flow state. In chapter 119, we see Nico reacting to the challenge of shutting down all the players that are linking up with Itoshi Sai. This is well within his ability to read the game and also a challenge to prove himself as Blue Lock's watchtower, so under those conditions, he activated the long-term flow state, where he seems to be using it in more than just one moment. We also see when a character is stated to enter the flow state have these eyes as well. Shido is the first to actually get this confirmation, and we see him having those eyes when he scores his second goal against Blue Lock, letting the world know who he is. His eyes becoming more and more common as we go into the manga and discover different flow states, and also brings a lot of hype to the unseen flow states. Before we get into the last eye, I feel like we have to go over some of the other eyes we see, and there isn't really any special meaning behind them, I just think they're cool eyes to look at, and also worth mentioning. The first eyes we see are the glowing eyes, where the pupil and iris disappears, and this is kind of a segue into flow, but I think the flow state eyes are a better comparison. 
I also just think it was made to look cool since this is kind of a classic anime eye. There's also the predator eyes we see used by Kaiser, which I think will become more prominent later on, especially in the Ubers game, but we don't really have any information on it besides that. Karasu in the manga has an extra circle which looks like a target and relates to his playstyle of targeting the weakest link on the team. Loki also has circular waves in his eyes which resemble his speed and shock waves he leaves behind. Alright, we're finally at the last eye and it's of course the Metavision eyes. This of course relates to Metavision and has a grid-like appearance, except for Isagi's, which is a bunch of puzzle pieces, which I think looks cooler. If you've read the manga, you already know what Metavision is, but it's pretty much looking around the field to always come up with the best play, and is also different than normal spatial awareness. I think the first appearance we actually see it in is in the third selection arc, when Isagi surpasses Rin and Shido, where he unintentionally enters the flow and uses Metavision. And the only players we've seen up until this point use it or confirm to use it are Kaiser, Sai, Isagi, Aiku and Rayo. You could also count Kavosas or whatever you pronounce his name, since it's pretty much implied that he used his eyes to look around the field and take the best play, but it hasn't really been confirmed. I think eventually all the new Gen 11 players will get Metavision and we'll get to see that including Don Lorenzo, and I might actually make a video on who will get Metavision next since it's a pretty interesting topic. Alrighty everyone, that is every eye we've seen in the Blue Lock anime and manga so far. If you've made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. I've wanted to make this video for a while, but I did need to gather a lot of information and go through a lot of chapters just to find specific specific panels for people having those eyes. If you've enjoyed the video, I make a lot of other blue lock content, so consider subscribing if you want to see more of that. And I'll also be kicking up some even better videos soon. With that being said though, my name's Hario, and I'll see you guys in the next one.